Hi, I'm Derek from Good Times Marine. Today we're going to have a good look at the Angler Pro Stealth 424 spec. The Stealth series is designed and geared for people using their boats and fishing in estuaries and bays and sort of enclosed waters. The spec series uh, is the, the base level uh, in the Angler Pro lineup. So what the Angler Pro have done with the Stealth spec is offer a boat that has the crucial features of having the casting decks. They've got a front cast deck and the rear cast deck but keeping the price very, very low. The way they've done that is basing the boat off a traditional thwart seat tinny. So you've got your two thwart seats in the boat. Your cast decks are built off of that, which gives you an, a, an extremely large casting deck area, but still gives you the benefits of the storage under the front and the storage under the back. And there's also the engine splash well, so any of those times when the water comes over the back of your transom, if you come off the throttle too hard, that water will go into the, trans, into the splash well and straight back out into the water you're in. The standard features that will come with this, the Stealth 424 spec is an unpainted hull, your two thwart seats, your front cast deck with the storage hatch, your rear cast deck with a splash well, your rear boarding step, your two side pockets, your low floor, and the classic 3mm bottom sheet and 3mm side sheet which everyone loves in the, in the Angler Pro uh, range of boats. In front of the front cast deck you've got the anchor well which is huge. And although you'll find that most people will use these boats running an electric motor off the front of the boat, having the anchor there is certainly a great feature when you're in a place like this on a beautiful beach where you can just throw the anchor over and uh, go out and go for a swim. This boat's been dressed up a fair bit. It's got the, obviously the white colour and then also the black added to it. They're two separate options. This boat's also had a, 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 a bow mount plate fitted to it and a bow bollard fitted to it. Uh, other than that, things like the sounder, the rod holders and the cup holders, they're additional options. The Stealth 424 comes standard with a 30 horsepower engine. It'll hold up to a 50 horsepower engine, but the vast majority of the boats that we would deliver would go out with the 40. With the 40 horsepower, you're looking at a top speed around about that 45 to 48 kilometres an hour. All of the packages come standard on the Dumbia trailer with a tow weight behind your car of approximately 550, uh, 550 kilograms. The overall length on a trailer is 5.15 metres and the beam is 2.1. The actual boat has a beam of, of 1.9 metres and the freeboard, as you can see, it's well and truly above my knee. Um, I haven't got my tape measure today, but I'll throw a guess and say it's around about the 600 mil mark. If you're the kind of person that likes to venture in some of the slightly choppier bays, more open bays, the Stealth with its 3 mil bottom sheet and the quite a deep V uh, through this front half of the bow will be able to tackle most of the conditions you're going to throw at it. I probably wouldn't push the boat past about half a metre, um, but the, the, the hull is designed to be able to take a bit of a beating if you uh, get stuck in a, in a windy afternoon that's come through. We have a good range of the Stealth models in stock at Good Times Marine. Come down, have a good look at the range of boats there, and I'm sure we'll be able to make you happy with a fantastic new Angler Pro Stealth.